Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be going over the new flashback players as well as completing the Nick Fairley flashback collection. Coming out later today, this was kind of time sensitive. I wanted to get this Nick Fairley done so I can sell it, uh, but I will be opening an ultimate, ultimate bundle later on, so check back for that. But we have the flashback against the Lions, which is the new solo challenge. There's no intro or outro for this video because I want to get it up. I want to get it up for you guys so you guys can see this before you see my... Uh, uh, ultimate bundle opening. So there's the flashback item you get, which should be the um, the collectible, the flashback collectible. But first, let's start off by looking at the 24-hour flashback, which is RG3. So let's go ahead and go to the Redskins. He's going for 300k currently, similar to the Dak Prescott when he came out. But let's slide on down here. There he is, RG3, 305k currently, 89 overall quarter, quarterback, week 11, 2012, 88 speed, 87 awareness, 91 throw power, 93 throw accuracy short, 85 throw accuracy mid, 79 throw accuracy deep, 85 play action, and 91 uh, throw on the run. What is his carrying? He actually has 71 carrying, so actually a really good quarterback, but not worth 300k for me, in my opinion. I'm not sure I would pay for a flashback Vic. If they came out with an 89 overall flashback Vic, I'm not sure I'd be on that. I'm not sure I would buy him. But now let's go ahead and get to the collection here. Flashback Nick Fairley, the new flashback. 88 overall. I have all the collectibles. Um, so let's go ahead and throw all these in here and take a look. So we've got the week one. We've got the 2013 season as a whole. Five total tackles. One fumble recovery. 1.5 sacks, and the flashback badge. So there he is, Nick Fairley, week 1, 2013. He's got 77 speed, 89 strength, 88 tackle, 86 block shed, 87 power move, 76 finesse, 85 play rec, and 87 pursuit. So actually a pretty solid card. Anything else important here that I should be looking at? 81 jumping, so he can swat some balls down. Oh, well, we've seen all of that. Injury and stamina are decent. 89 hit power, not bad, so he can force some fumbles. But let's go ahead and back on out and see what he is going for. Because he's going up on the auction for a lot cheaper. With these ultimate packs available that give guaranteed flashback collectibles, his set will get done pretty quick here. So I want to be able to get him out of here and move him as fast as possible. So let's see what he's going for. Currently, cheapest one up is 126, so I'm actually going to go really a lot cheaper and go at like 115. I would make a crap ton of coins off of this if I could sell it for 115. That's the goal. I'm just going to keep posting it for an hour. I've got some homework to do and some uh, research I need to do for uh, DFS tonight and then this weekend for football. So I need to do a little bit of research, see if I want to... I don't think I want to play any guys from the Thursday night game, but who knows, maybe we will. Or we, maybe I will. Uh, but I'm really into DFS, so I gotta do my research tonight, make sure I'm all prepped for this week and this weekend. Let's go with that. One hour. If it doesn't sell, we'll go ahead and throw it back up later. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you guys are gonna be picking up any of the new cards that came out, whether it be uh, the Nick Fairley or the RG3, or if you're gonna be picking up the Ultimate Bundle, let me know, and I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out.